Let's move on and now take a look at TerraScan, which is our last IAC scanning tool here. To scan a single file with TerraScan, uh, you can run this command, TerraScan scan, and the dash F, the flag file, and then the particular file we want to scan, in this case, the S3.tf. Let's take a look at the output in this case. Uh, as you can see here, it gives you a, um, a scan summary at the bottom. We can see that there is one vulnerability that is high, and uh, you can see the file folder that we, uh, we have scanned and the description enabling S3 versioning will enable easy recovery from both unintended user actions and uh, like deletes and overwrites. So it's recommending that we have versioning for our S3 bucket in this case. And once again, severity is high and uh, TerraScan is open source. We're not, it's, uh, we're not putting any API keys or anything in here and it's backed by Tenable. That's the company behind it. Um, so. Let's take a look at how to scan an entire directory. So go ahead and run terraform scan D and the terraform directory. Let this scan. One thing I forgot to mention about TFSec, it does not support Kubernetes. So it only supports uh, terraform. Whereas, uh, terrascan and, uh, checkoff, they support, uh, not just terraform or Kubernetes, they support also uh, cloud formation, ARM templates, and a few other frameworks as well. All right, so now we've scanned uh, the entire Terraform directory. We see that we've got a uh, seven high vulnerabilities, one medium, zero low. We validated 155 policies. And once again, you can see the uh, description of each one of those policies and the severity and where exactly this happened in ec ec2.tf file on line 77. This is our uh, violation right there. Now let's go ahead and scan for Kubernetes vulnerabilities. So clear that. All you need to do is just use the I flag and the Kubernetes or K8s uh, framework that will scan for Kubernetes. And in this case, we've got two high vulnerabilities, nine medium and three low. And uh, in total, 14 violated policies. Policies validated are 42. So now if we want to create a custom TerraScan policy, uh, TerraScan uses Rego. Uh, so Rego, once again, is a language used by OPA to create policies. So the way to, uh, or the command used to scan a policy is this one here. So let's run that. And what this does, as you can see, TerraScan scan, you got to give it the policy path. So the folder where we've created the custom policies. In this case, it's TerraScan custom policy. And if you add this flag at the end, it will add all the other policies as well. If you're interested in only looking at our particular policy, then you can remove this one here and we'll do that in just a second. So you can see here we have now 10 high, vul uh, high vulnerabilities, 10 medium, three low. And if I run this command without uh, the second path policy, uh, let's see here, uh, we get one high vulnerability and that's the one we are, we, we created and I'll show you the actual policy in just a second, but here's the same policy that we're checking against, uh, making sure the S3 bucket ACL does not have public read and does not have the scope PCI tag. Okay. And severity in this case, we defined as high and uh, if we go to the folder where we store this policy, it's right here and it's called it, Rego needs two files, a JSON file and a Rego file. Uh, don't worry about this file for now. I'll talk about it in just a minute. But the JSON file is really where you define a few things about the policy. So you define the name of the policy, uh, where the Rego file lives and it lives in the same folder here. So the same name. Uh, the policy type is an AWS policy. The resource type is an AWS S3 bucket. Uh, the, again, template args name, I just give it the same name as the policy itself. Severity is high and a description, a category, a version, and I, an ID for this policy or check. So that's basically the, the JSON file that Rego needs. And then an actual Rego file. I'm sorry, this is the JSON file that TerraScan needs and a Rego file. 
In Rego, well, we are specifying the Acurix package, uh, and uh, Acurix was the company behind TerraScan, and then it got acquired by Tenable. So that's why we're using this package called Acurix. And in here, I'm not going to get into the details of, of how to write Rego, but just understand that we are grabbing an input of type AWS S3 bucket. We're calling it array or we're assigning that input value to this variable array. And then we're searching through the JSON here. So array.config.acl if it equals public read and if the array.config.tags equals scope uh, of PCI, then we're going to catch this as a violation. And that's basically how we, we created this. Now this S3 PCI TerraScan config is kind of a way to, uh, to grab the input of this AWS S3 bucket so that when we're creating the Rego file, we can actually parse it. So you can see the config.acl is public read, config tags, scope PCI. So that ties into config ACL and config tags right here. And really, um, to build these two files, I made use of a, of an extension, uh, called, uh, let's see, Rego, uh, TerraScan Rego, this extension. So you can install this extension. Uh, and I have it installed in this GitHub uh, Git code space uh, for you, but you can use it. Uh, or install it in your own VS Code as well. And the way it works is that you point to the S3 bucket or the um, the file that you want to create a policy for, and you can select everything, click right click, and hit the Rego Rego editor generate config, and say that this is for Terraform, for AWS. And what it's going to do is going to create the same config that I showed you before. And it's going to create it right here. Then you can right click and say generate Rego. And this will automatically generate the two files that, uh, that I mentioned before. So let's just close these for now so I can show you what they look like. Uh, so it generated these two files. Here is a sample of the JSON file. And here is a sample Rego file uh, that you see here. So I, all I did is I un, uh, I remove the uh, some of these um, commented lines so that I can make use of this. As you can see, that's what pretty much what I did, and I just filled the the different missing pieces. So this uh, VS Code extension is very very helpful uh, for that. And that's pretty much it from an IAC scanning uh, point of view. We've talked about three different tools. We talked about uh, Chekhov, we talked about TFSec, and we talked about TerraScan. Uh, and which one to select is really up to you and depends on your use case. If you're looking for a, uh, a, a solution that ties into your multiple needs, so maybe it could be Kubernetes, CloudFormation, ARM templates, and Terraform, then uh, you can take a look at both TerraScan and Chekhov. Uh, TFSec won't work for you. If you're looking for a simple solution, a fast solution, uh, just for Terraform, TFSec also is, is a very good option. If you're looking to uh, standardize on OPA everywhere for your policy as code, then you can take a look at uh, either using vanilla OPA or to use uh, OPA in addition to uh, maybe TerraScan with their Rego um, policy engine that might be an option. Uh, TFSec also can be used with Rego. So that, that can also be an option for you. So it really depends on what your use cases are. And that said, you can still use multiple tools as well if it makes sense. The idea is you don't want to create too much false positives, too much noise uh, in your organization. So you have to be careful when you're adding these security tools to know exactly, you know, uh, what you want to look for. Uh, you don't want to annoy your developers and annoy the people that are actually building uh, the environment. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in another video.